How you guys doing? Alright, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you first what apps you need to cut and import all your audio into Costa. First, you're going to need this MP3 cutter right here. Now, I've tried a bunch of them, but this one is by far the best. So I recommend this one. And also, you're going to need a MP3 converter. It's going to be that green one right there with the M on it. And same thing with this one, I've tried a lot of them. Now it's going to ask you, you're going to need to download something else for it, it'll point you to it. Just go ahead and download it, it's safe. So, on to the song now. I already got the song picked out that I want. I'm going to remix. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that out. And I'll go to my other page. Get this URL down, www.youtube.mp3.org. This is a good one also. I'm just going to paste that in there, hit convert, and then right where it says download, just hit download, and it will download straight to your phone in an MP3 file. Now, uh, if you remember the first app, the MP3 cutter, that is what we're going to be using first. Basically, it downloads in different names sometimes. So this one is file. Downloaded it a few times trying to do this video. Finally got it right. So this is how it looks like. That sounds pretty good. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and hit save, but I'm gonna change it to uh, say LL Cool J. Okay, done. And save. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to our media converter, the green one with the M on it. And now this part can be a little annoying. Uh, sometimes you just gotta let it load all the way up, otherwise it'll keep getting into the same spot like you see it. But uh, once it finally loads, you wanna go ahead and go down until you find the file trimmed. Okay. Now you, you wanna go ahead and go all the way down to the bottom. It's going to be down at the bottom every single time. Let's go ahead and click that. Now hit Advanced Convert. And see where the MP3 is? Click that. Go all the way down at the bottom until it says Wave. You need it in a WAV file. Now hit Change. Click back. Go down until you find Caustic. C A D S T I C. There it is. Now hit Presence. And PCM sync. And now just go ahead and hit OK. Convert. And see how quick that is? Now it converted straight into the Caustic program right under the PCM sync. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and go into Caustic. Hit new. Okay, now I'm going to first load up the PCM sync. Okay, see where it says select instrument? Go ahead and hit that. Go down to the bottom and you should find it in your files. Down here. LL Cool J, there it is. When you press this one, it's always a higher note. So let's just go ahead and go down. That sounds better. A lot better. Install that. Okay. Now down here, this is the song and pattern area. See how it's just playing and playing and playing. At least it's just in a stuck loop. We only have a four bar loop. So all these up here is they're your numbers that you're gonna 
insert into your sequencer. I'm going to show you what your sequencer is right now. Okay, this is the sequencer. See how they have the numbers up there? I'm just going to add a number 16 because there's nothing on it. And I only do that because when I start the song in number 1, as you can see, let's see where it ends up at. Okay, that sounds good. If you don't do that, if you don't add the ending with nothing on it, then it's just going to repeat itself if you try to extend the line. So let's go ahead and hit the gear and hit parent holder. That goes back in time. Now hit presence, just like I showed you earlier. Go ahead and go down to the PCM sync and go to the bottom where you can find the file. Now we're going to hit the gear box next to the save. The very first wave, we're going to go ahead and edit that. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Now you got it imported. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to cut it up and paste it into your video.